weather update. We had a pretty wild storm last night. Lots and lots of rain, heavy rain. Um, measure at our house said 1.17 inches in about 20 minutes? 15, 20 minutes. Um, no damage to, at our place, but lots of trees and lots of lots of hail damage around town. A friend of ours had a bunch of hail get into his window wells and flood his basement. Not a good thing. It's a decent day today, though. It's pretty nice out. It's supposed to be in the mid 80s. Usually windy, so it'll dry everything up, get back to our normal dry summer. But a little maintenance here at the hangar. Sweep out the water, and we'll get on the building. Hey, it's Monday, July 25th, and uh, we are going to uh, take the tape and clean up the ends of the the counterweight ends of the elevator uh, that stuff has set up it's not I don't think it's fully cured it's almost fully cured but it's well good enough to where we can take that stuff off clean those up and um, also have our tips for the horizontal stabilizer we're gonna get those put on we're gonna start looking at uh, doing a balance we've got a aileron hanging on the bench over there. There's an, or a shelf. There's another one underneath the bench there. I'll uh, we'll start looking at doing the balance on those. And um, what else? I thought there was something else I talked about doing. Well, I don't know. If we figure it out, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Here we go. I took some of that the excess epoxy that we had left over. Well, I guess this was in this cup. And I just threw a, an old bushing that I messed up in there. Kind of used that as a gauge to see when this stuff was set up and it was, it's pretty, pretty solid in there. So yeah, that stuff seems to work pretty good. Got the tape pulled off of this. I was a little worried because when we did this yesterday, um, that epoxy had, some of it ran out. And we had that little tray under there, that lid under there to keep it from running onto the table, but it, it ran out into that tray. I mean, just a little tiny bit. I was a little worried about getting the tape and everything off of here. And um, that stuff peels right off of this aluminum. It doesn't stick to it. Uh, I mean, it, it sticks, but it's you can peel it off while it's still a little bit soft. So. Um, did that, I guess that was how long ago? 16 hours, 16, 18 hours. Um, then we did that and peeled right off, came off nice.
Okay, got push pull tube connected to the horn and uh, didn't tighten this all the way down because we've got some more work to do yet. So I just wanted to uh, put this on, just basically kind of get it out of the way. Uh, a couple notes here. This, this part was new, uh, different. This is a revised part from when we got uh, our initial build manual, but um, I don't know. The only thing I would say that I kind of not struggled with, but a, a tip on this is to, when you put it in, just use a drift pin to get that lined up in there. Uh, also had to file this, this bear, oh, I had to file that bearing retainer rivet, the end of that rivet just, I had to shave, I mean, I don't know, tenth of an inch off of there maybe to clear this push-pull tube. So we did that, everything seems to be working okay. Uh, another thing is when you go to put the the bolts in the hinges, there's a lot more room if you tip the elevator all the way up. There's a lot of room to get up in there and work on those uh, those hinge bolts. got this first tip fitted up here. I just want to do a quick uh, talk on this. I know I've talked about it before, but just a refresher here. This is the horizontal tip from Aerosport Products. Um, I don't remember how much it cost, um, but it's all pre-fit. You just hold it up there, snug it up, transfer drill your holes, and you're ready to fasten it in there. We'll do the, uh, gonna do the same thing that we did uh, on, like we did on the vertical tip, is we'll drill these out, and then we'll put an aluminum spacer or a rivet, I guess I call it a rivet strip, inside of there, and then we'll rivet those on. Got the ailerons out here, getting ready to do a uh, get started on balancing those. And we've just got some spray foam insulation we're gonna put in there. I had to figure out a way to do an extension into that wing root. And so we got our spray foam here and you have to basically put a, a foam plug in the end. This is the leading edge of the aileron. So we'll go in 14 inches and we'll do a, a plug back in there. And uh, the only thing I could find that we could uh, use was just some quarter inch fuel hose that I had on hand. It hasn't been used for anything, it's fresh hose. So we'll use this uh, to do those plugs on the end. And it just happens to just fit on the end of this, this dispenser. So we'll give it a try. We're going to test it out on some uh, PVC, see what uh, the characteristics are like on this foam, and we'll go from there. Well, we're done for the day here, and uh, yeah, we got uh, a number of things done. We got the horizontal tips put on. Did it that uh, did a twenty thousandths aluminum uh, rivet strip in there on both sides. JB welded that in and then riveted that on, so that's good to go. Uh, got this elevator mounted temporarily. We just slipped the bolts into the hinges. Um, noted that they are pretty tight in there. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll see if we can get the bolts in there once we go to mount it, but I might need to see if I can sneak a reamer in there and just kind of clean that up a little bit. 
Um, did our aileron balancing, started that by putting a plug of expanding foam insulation in there on the ends, uh, or actually in a little bit about there. So we'll be able to um, work on those again tomorrow, Get maybe get those balanced. And did some rivet cleanup on the horizontal. And man, I tell you what, uh, it's been that, let's see, we did the rudder first, then the vertical, then the horizontal and the elevator. So these were the first four pieces that we actually put together with the kit. And, and then the second rudder. Yeah, and second rudder. But um, boy, I tell you what, you get to looking at this stuff after this has been the first one that was done or the first, some of the first pieces. And uh, we've replaced how many rivets so far? Three, oh, I would say three or four, I thought. Well, total for everything. Yeah, but uh, you, you look at this, you keep finding rivets that need to be replaced that got pulled crooked, um, that didn't work quite right. Uh, can sure tell that these were the early pieces. So we'll clean some of that up a little more probably tomorrow. And like I said, we'll work a little more on the aileron balancing, see if we get that kind of uh, finalized and good to go. But yeah. So, um, hey, that's, uh, that's where we are today. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. And that's it for now.